A giant medical breakthrough could save countless lives. And it's all happening right here in our neck of the woods. News 4's Carly Gordon joins us live at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Doctors have just taken a huge step toward treating lung disease. Yeah, it's one of the most common causes of death in our country. In most cases, getting a lung transplant is the only treatment. And doctors here at Vanderbilt may have just figured out how to get everyone who needs one the help that they need. Here at Vanderbilt, there are thousands of people on a list hoping for a life-saving transplant surgery. Doctors say 15% of them will die waiting. When you lose a patient, you grow close to them, and then you can't get them to transplant. And, um, and to, I, I think we just got tired of losing patients. Dr. Matthew Baquetta says 80% of lungs available for donation aren't healthy enough for transplantation. And what they need is time, because in a few days, those damaged, donated lungs will improve. And so the focus of our research has been on how can we take those lungs not currently usable for transplantation and give them enough time to get better. Tonight, they think they've done it. Using a pig, they were able to make a lung last for several days. They were also able to treat that lung and make it healthier, ready for transplant. The potential here is astounding. We're talking about human lives that would have been lost, saved. Next, doctors plan to apply the same research to other organs like livers, kidneys, and hearts. So right now, four out of the five lungs that we look at are rejected. If we could even recover one of those four, it would essentially allow us to transplant everybody on the wait list. Wow, Carly. Okay, so clearly these are life-saving surgeries. The big question now is when? When can doctors do them? Sure. Well, Dr. Baquetta is hoping to be able to perform those exact surgeries here at Vanderbilt within the next two years or so. Also, he says already they're now able with this research to do things with stem cells that they've never been able to do before now.